Hi, now let's look at 3D graphics. We've been in the world of the plane with X, Y coordinates, and now we're going to have a Z axis. So in class, I had you show me the X axis, which is like this, and then show the Y axis, which is like this, and the Z axis is like this. And in 2D with P5JS, we had the origin at the top left and now it's in the center. X is still horizontal, Y is still vertical, and Z is the distance away from you with larger numbers meaning closer to you. And here's a sketch with a rotating box. Like this, kind of small here I realize. Uh, we're not going to go through it, but just to show kind of what we can do. The mouse position controls the amount of red and also the rotation speed. Now we're going to make a rotating box from scratch. And uh, if you didn't do it in class, you can do it with me, or you can do it again with me for practice. So uh, let's see. Let's start with this and I'll make this bigger and then I'll do file new. Okay, so the first thing to get into 3D drawing mode is to add this WebGL. Then you'll be working in 3D. Now let's add a box with an edge length of 100 and now we have a box there. And if we wanted to, well let's make some color. Let's get a nicer background color light blue and then for the faces of the cube that'll be fill let's use um, yellow how does that look that's okay and now to make it rotate there's several ways we can do it we can have it rotate on its own on any of the three axes or multiple axes we can say rotate uh, let's do Y um, using the mouse position, the x-coordinate of uh, the mouse position. And you'll see that as I move the mouse around, the, the cube rotates. But it rotates really fast uh, because this mouse x changes so fast. So if we divide by something, we can slow it down. So that's much better. You could also use uh, mouse y to rotate on x. So you're using the, the up and down of the mouse uh, to rotate on the x-axis. But notice it seems like it's kind of going the wrong direction, so we need to do um, negative to reverse that. Um, you could do both. So let's copy, paste, paste. We're going to rotate on Y with mouse X and on X with mouse Y. So now we've got this kind of thing. So that's fun. Um, we could also have it rotate on its own. So let's just go with this. Now it's rotating on its own. Frame count is a number that's what frame you're drawing. You might remember, hopefully you remember that setup gets called once, draw gets called repeatedly, 60 times a second by default. And each time through, this frame count, this built-in variable, increases. So at first it's 1, then it's 2, and it's 3. And when we divide it by uh, 50, we make it not increase by 1, 2, 3, and so on, but by smaller increments, which is what we need in order to, um, to rotate. Okay, so I could throw in rotate Y and rotate Z like this, and now it's rotating that way. Uh, so that's kind of fun. Then let's throw in one more thing, maybe a cone. And one is the radius, one is the height. I forget at the moment. Let's just see what we get. And I don't see it yet. Oh, it's in there. It's in there. Let's make it 200. So there's a cone. 
and a cube, and then let's make the cone a different color. So we'll fill the cone in with, um, let's see what blue does. Um, oh, okay, so I want to draw the box first with yellow. See how quickly I can move these things around? You should develop the skill too. Okay, so I've made the box yellow and the cone blue. And um, so this is an example of what you want to do for challenge four, which is to use multiple 3D shapes and make something artistic. And this is what I've made. I think you could probably do better. Okay, so that is what I wanted to cover with getting started with 3D graphics.